Boys, oh boys. I removed it. I removed the stash. And how cold is that in Good morning, gents. Or is it afternoon? Probably evening. Anyway, I am now legitimately back with another video here at the Gen Vibe. As you know, men are typically viewed as the unhygienic ones or the ones who don't know a thing about grooming. The worst part about this is that most men remain clueless or plain ignorant towards this fact. And because I care about y'all, and because I'm your brother and your friend, I won't let you succumb to this common notion, boys. Because today, I will be talking about the top 10 grossest habits most men do and how to fix them. Ready? That's the first and probably most common of them all for getting to wash your hands after using the bathroom. Come to think of it like this, you go in the washroom, do what you have to do, touch your junk in the process, on the way out, someone calls, then boom, you hold your phone and stick it up on your face. Unless you want instant salmonella, E. coli, hand foot mouth disease, and other wretched diseases that come from the bacteria of fecal matter, boys, you're better than that. Break this habit for yourself and for the people around you. Wash your hands with soap for at least 20 seconds just to be sure. Now, speaking of soap and water, the next gross habit that most men do is forgetting to take a shower every single day. Come on boys, you take a bath to jumpstart your day. It's summer already for crying out loud. You need it more than you usually do in this time of the year. When you take a bath, it helps you feel good about yourself and fresh all day long. However, this time, it's not enough that you wash your body with purely your hands and your soap. Use an exfoliating material like what I do and use a loofah, for example. By doing so, you constantly remove the dead skin from your body and help induce a healthy growing environment for the new skin. This brings me up to my next point. Now, let's say that you've done your shower routine and you just step out of the shower. What most men do is that they forget about the next step. Forgetting to wear deodorant, my friend. As I said, it's getting hot out there and it's about time that you get yourself an effective deodorant, my friend. By doing so, you avoid two embarrassing things, armpit stains and body odor. Note that not, do, not, note that not all deodorants have the same effect due to the differences of ingredients put into it and the skin types that you have. This is why it is of utmost importance that you find the most effective one for you so that you can remain fresh all day long. Now. If by any chance that you don't find a good deodorant, there's a big chance that you're gonna fall into this next gross habit. And that's insisting to wear armpit stained shirts. What really causes that yellow armpit stain in your shirts is an ingredient called aluminum. Aluminum is the ingredient in charge of the antiperspiration part of the deodorant. Solution? Find natural deodorants that don't have aluminum in it. Examples are Pit Perfect by Skin Genie, Powder Fresh from Human Nature, The Grinch from Lush, and many more out there. At the end of the day, it's just a matter of finding the right one for you. The next habit that most men should stop doing is forgetting to manscape regularly. Gents, your body, it's a work of art, sculpted to perfection, but if and only if you maintain it properly. And besides, you're never gonna know when you're gonna meet the love of your life. A hairy chest, a hairy back, an out of control beard? Not a very good first impression in my opinion. So learn how to manscape regularly Post a reminder on your phone, on your wall, on your ref, whatever you have to do as long as you get it done at the end of the day. Now, talking about hair, the next gross habit that most men do is using too much hair product. Now, I normally see this mistake when men use gel for their hair. I know, but for me, it just looks tacky, too shiny, very uncomfortable, and not aesthetic at all. Now, for my hair type, I use Bench's 360 Clay product for a strong and matte finish and I'll recommend this over any gel product out there. Next up, picking your ears and nose in public. Do I really have to explain why? It just looks disgusting and I'm pretty sure nobody's gonna want to shake those hands, my friend. So if you wanna clean out your ears and your nose, please, please, please do it at home, gents, for the consideration of other people around you. A close relative to this leads me to the next gross habit most men do and that's neglecting your fingernails, boys. The more specific term to this is biting your nails. Doing it in public just makes it as bad as picking your nose, man. Moreover, on the opposite extreme, another form this habit takes is forgetting to click your nails regularly. As a general rule of thumb, what I follow is that as soon as those white things come out of your nails, I start to clip them already. By doing so, your hands will always look clean and it helps you prevent yourself from biting them in public.
see anything wrong there? If not, then you're probably a victim of this knife gross habit that most men do. It's a personal pet peeve of mine and that's forgetting to lift the toilet seat, boys. The toilet seat is naturally set to be down at all times for the consideration of the other people who are gonna use it, especially the women. And if you so much as forget to put it down, then it defeats the purpose. Cause let's face it, as much as you don't want to sit on other people's urine, I'm pretty sure they don't want to sit on yours too. And finally, this leads me to the 10th gross habit almost all men do, and that's adjusting in public. Now I know, I know, we're all guilty of this at some point of our lives. Sometimes they just have it at the most awkward and random time possible. But boys, I'm here to look out for you all. Unfortunately, there are three ways that you can fix this without embarrassing yourself. The first and most simple of them all is that go to the nearest bathroom and simply adjust there. The second trick is that what if you don't have a bathroom near you and that you're walking in public? Well, you're gonna have to do the pocket trick. So as you see, while you walk, just reach into your pocket and do what you have to do to feel comfortable again. What if you're not walking? This is where the third hack comes in. What you're gonna have to do is that you extend your legs and flex that quad muscle as hard as you can because by doing so, all the blood accumulated in the erection is gonna be forced to leave and rush down your legs. If done properly, I promise you gents that these three hacks will save you from a ton of embarrassing and awkward situations in the future. That's it. That's the wrap of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you found it informative. So if you're new to this channel and you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please make sure to subscribe down below and leave a like. And also, if you haven't watched my first video where I talked about the top 5 best dressed gentlemen in the Philippines, I'll make sure to link it down below. So that's it. That's it for this video. Bye-bye, gents.